Hello guys, here is Bionic Lombax for another tutorial. This one is not gonna be that long because today I'm just showing you one little simple trick to have a player like this one in your own room, like I do here. This is a normal YouTube player, but it's a very particular and useful one. Differently from the PC streaming one I showed you in the other video, which I link down below, this player is just a normal YouTube player in which you have to click either this or this button here, like this. After you click on the red button, a search box is gonna appear. This one is just like your typical YouTube search bar. In fact, if you type whatever you want, for example, I mean, be sure after you type not to press enter if you are from PC, but be sure to press OK with your mouse, because if you just press on enter from the keyboard, it's not gonna work. You press OK, and after some little bit of time, all the possible videos are gonna show up. After that, you just choose whatever you want, for example, this one, and there you go. This is one of the possible videos. And that's it. That's pretty much it. After you put your video, you click on it, the video is gonna show up. Only limitation to this player is that you cannot actually pause the video while playing. You can just wait for it to stop and then restart it. One very important difference between the two buttons is that if you click on the first button, is what's gonna appear it's just this box in which you cannot put whatever you want but just a video URL therefore you have to put it a complete URL otherwise it won't work you see if I put whatever and I just press OK nothing is gonna show up instead the second button is the effective search bar in which you can write whatever because it's just the search bar and some videos is gonna match no matter what let me explain to you, other than these two buttons, what's the purpose of these two options. Volume is pretty self-explanatory, you just select how much of the volume you, wanna, you want to hear <laughs> at the time. But roll-off is a very interesting and counterintuitive part. It may seem to be an option like the volume in which the more you increase it, the more you hear, but it's instead an option to set up the maximum distance to start hearing it from because this is not an, a 2D source of audio this can be heard as a 3D source therefore the more you go away from it the less you hear and now back to the main purpose of this quick video how do I make something like that first and foremost you have to enable the word beta or the early access program both of them are good with that toggled on you'll be able to actually see this option here in the top right of your screen the word editor feature with the word editor feature you will have a bunch of stuff here if you want to know more about what's all this i have made a video about it before i'm gonna link it also in in the description down below but for now, we just have to enable the edit mode in order to actually modify any component in our scene, in our world. And then go in editor panel, which will open this window here. And then from this window, you click on alt space here. And then SDK app. From there, you just click on multimedia player. And up until now, that's pretty much straightforward. It doesn't seem that difficult. But as you can see, this is not the same as that screen over there. What's missing, you may ask? Easy. Click on it. Editor panel. Clicking on something while in editor mode makes it here underlined. If you click on the multimedia console, you'll see there is two parts, name and target URL. And it is here that you have to put this specific URL. 
you have to put it also here as the name. Be sure that is playing is toggled on and click on confirm. You then have to wait some seconds and voila! This is the exact same screen that you got there. Of course, as I already said in the other video, while in edit mode, you can freely move it around, you can rotate it as you please, and you can also you can also resize it to your likings. And that's it, that's pretty much it. You, you can now freely enjoy your YouTube player. Oh, there's this one other thing. Beware the fact that everybody can actually type anything here at any moment. If I were to use this YouTube player in a public event, maybe you're gonna have some trolls just clicking on the videos or putting other videos or stopping your videos on purpose to give you problems. If that's the case, I'll give you also as a bonus to this video a solution for that problem. First and foremost, you take a stage blocker, which is something you can spawn from the editor panel. You go in Alt Space, Kits, Event Tools, and then you found you find the, the stage blocker. The stage blocker is the perfect solution for an easy fix because while being in edit mode, you, you cannot see it if you're not in edit mode. While being in edit mode, you can place this box and you can encapsulate the whole screen into the stage blocker. What's the purpose of the stage blocker? Very easy. If you use a stage blocker, nobody is actually going to be able to notice it, but they won't be able to click whatever is inside of it. So if you cover the whole screen and the buttons into a stage blocker, everybody will be able to look at the video and look at the buttons, but nobody will be able to click on it. The only people allowed to click in the stage blocker are the moderators or you, which are the owner of the place. And with that, I'll say goodbye to you. I hope you are doing well. Bye bye. See you in the next video.